What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Bedivere and welcome to another episode of Zero to Hero. In today's episode, we are going to be diving back into our factorial playthrough. As always, if you enjoy the content, be sure to smash that like button, click the subscribe button as well if you haven't already, and that little notification bell down there at the bottom keeps you up to date with all new content that comes to the channel. If you have any tips, tricks, suggestions, questions, concerns, or you want to let me know how I'm building my base wrong, feel free to leave your comments down in the comments down below and I'll be sure to get back to you when I can. Hand. If you want a little bit more one-on-one -on -one question answer, uh, you want to know kind of the inspiration behind all the builds that I do, I do stream Factorio as well as a variety of other strategy games over on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash bedivere. All the links to all my socials, including Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram are in the description down below. Now, let's go into the playthrough. And in this episode, we are going to be doing something a little bit more like maintenance kind of planning for the future, right? Um, I've been doing some stuff uh, off camera here. Uh, in the last episode, what did, we, what did we, what did we do last episode? Was that the, was that the steel, steel, steel smelting, I think? Uh, yeah, we're slowly but surely kind of putting all of our, um, all of our modules in there. We still got a decent amount left. Um, but right now our factory is running a little bit idle. I'm, I'm kind of doing a little bit of maintenance, adding some mines here and there, uh, and just kind of cleaning some, some stuff up. So right here I added, you know, this little, uh, mine cluster of a, uh, of an iron ore smelting. So you kind of, you kind of come in in this, in the stacker, uh, you veer off, you exit off into the copper smelting. And then I got, uh, or sorry, into the iron smelting. I have copper smelting here as well as coal or I'm, I'm saying smelting. I'm, I mean mining iron mining here copper smelting here And then I have coal here and it's a cool little, you know, you know exit lane Then you keep on going and then you exit to mine or to pick up ore here or continue going and then all three all three mines uh, exit out this little condensed uh, part here. And then I've been slowly but surely adding some more mines as well. Like for here, I got, you know, another another double um, double mine set up here with, you know, one stacker, you veer off, you load up here, uh, exit, or you can continue into this mine and exit here. Uh, so just kind of small things like that that I've been adding um, off camera just because they are a little bit, you know, not tedious, but maybe a little boring or I don't know. I don't know if you if you want to if you want to see me do a lot more of the the tedious work of you know adding more mining stations feel free to leave your comment down below and, and let me know that you want to see that um there's a few things that we are starting to do and starting to replace in our base here you see that we've fully replaced all the smelting save the uh, save the stone and the stone brick smelting so we got you know a copper plate our green circuit it's a little bit of spaghetti here iron plate we got our steel and then our coal here and our coal is only being used for uh plastic but in the next couple episodes we're going to be outsourcing our plastic and then once plastic is done outsourcing our red circuits and then after red circuits is done we can start we can start making some sciences and outposting science um in the in the near future we're going to be doing, you know, red, red, green, uh, military science and all that stuff. And military science does need, um, stone and stone brick. And I was thinking to myself that we could do an outpost that's just stone brick smelting. Uh, I have that in my, in my stream playthrough. So go ahead and, and follow the, the Twitch channel to go check that playthrough out. Um, the stream playthrough is a little bit, a little bit further ahead. Uh, you know, we've already started doing red, gray. I don't think we did green yet. I, I mixed the two sciences by accident. Um, but yeah, so once we get plastic outsourced, we can then outsource our, um, our red circuit build. you you guys are going to like my mega base red circuit build. So, so stay tuned for that. And then like, for example, you know, red red circuits are used for for basically the the rest of the rest of the stuff and we could honestly in the future we could start our outsourcing our our speed speed modules as well as our productivity modules if we got green circuits red circuits and then eventually we would need blue circuits to do that blue circuits what do they need green red and sulfuric acid 
What does sulfuric acid take? Petroleum and water. And is that it? Yeah, petroleum, water. No, sulfuric acid is being made up here. Uh, petroleum, water, and iron plate. So that might be a good thing to outsource slowly or soon after that. You know, we have some sulfuric acid being made locally um, with oil, like an oil build, and then make our blue circuit build as an outpost as well. This is all kind of speculation, just, you know, deciding where we want to go. But I think in this episode, we're going to be we're going to be adding like a very small um, stone brick, uh, so stone brick smelting column so that we can bring it back in here. And what is the stone brick being used for again? It's being used for. It's being used for this probably as well as some other stuff. But I think I think that stone brick is just like a very small thing that we can do very quickly. Um, what are we gonna need? We're gonna need, I have, I have a blueprint for that that I'm gonna place down. 1.5 rails, um, two, about 300 chests, 150 furnace, and 2.5 thousand uh, regular transport or express transport belt so let's go ahead and do 2.5 thousand of that uh 1.5 thousand rails we're gonna need 150 smelters we're gonna need beacons too what's the what's the beacon count beacon count is about 270 uh 190 because there are stacks of 10 uh i'm not gonna have enough i'm not gonna have enough all right let's head up there then uh i already decided on a spot that i want to put it i want to put it in this little corner here right because our smelting our stone smelting the ratio for that is was it two stone ore to, to one stone brick so it's not like a one-to-one -one ratio like it is here so it actually cuts this number in half um so it's a lot more compact and we're not going to need we're not going to need a, a bunch of it i think if we look at the blueprint right here like it provides 16 was no eight full belts uh using 16 belts of ore so eight full belts of stone brick is plenty is actually plenty um if i had to guess i think and if not we can always just double it and there's enough room here to if we kind of hug it right on this intersection here there's enough room here to to not take up the the oil patch so yeah that'll be that'll be clutch and then if we really need to expand it these patches are probably going to be depleted by that time anyways so it's a nice little snug snug design f that fits ex like perfectly into here uh what's going on here i thought i i thought i told you to meet me up there please thank you and then I think this episode two will be the episode where we start adding a bunch of mines. Uh, I know this is where I'm gonna wanna have my plastic. We got some oil here. Um, this is, I think, where I'm gonna have my plastic. I'm gonna clean up this little section here, destroy this frontier base that's, that's been here forever. And that'll open up, you know, a little bit of a window here. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see where, where everything takes us. I'm going to need to add some more coal mines as well. I think I added one here. Yes, this was another thing that I added. I'm not sure if we saw it on on uh, on camera, but we got a little stacker here. Uh, I I got rid of the the weird um, single lane deal here with the oil and kind of put it in the middle here so that we're not having too much too huge of a junction here. Um, I added a stacker. You can keep on going on to the to the coal or you can come down to the nice uh moduled and beaconed uh oil oil field here and the thing that i found is that if you put all the oil into one one um central point it tends to back up and then some of them are left not running so what i like to do is i, I like to split it into like four groups you see here here's like a, a cluster let me see here. how many how many pumps do we got i think it's 21 uh 17. so that's around 
you know, 16 is, is, div is divisible by four, and then you have one cluster that's five, right? So this is one cluster. I think this is the five cluster, yeah. So this five cluster is isolated. Um, I actually need to probably speed module some of this stuff. Don't know why I didn't. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, don't know why I didn't. It's all right. Well, we can speed module this while we can. There we go. I mean, that's not great, but nah, it adds a little bit. Um, anyways, so we got, you know, a little cluster here that goes down. And then I think, what is it? This cluster of four goes here. And then we have, what is it, this cluster of four? Yeah, this cluster of four going here. And then this cluster of four going here. And you can, it, it spreads out, it spreads the wealth a little bit. Makes it a little bit easier. Okay, let's get out here. And I probably shouldn't have gotten out of the Spidertron there. Um, let's go to our blueprint. I don't know if that'll be able to fit. Here, let's go to map mode so I can actually see. Yeah. This is the correct orientation. Yeah, it won't fit. Hold on. Let's. Yeah, let's turn off our bots. I want to make sure that I place it correctly. I think that's right. Then with that's going to cross, that's going to cross. I think that's right. Yeah, I think that works. All right, let's turn on our bots again. I want to see if this actually connects. It probably doesn't. Not probably doesn't. Okay, so this is going to cross here. This is going to cross here. And we got a little bit of a mess. Oh. All we got to do is delete the these signals here and then just add our chain signals. So this is going to come in this way. We'll add the ones in between here. All right, there we go. That's that. This chunk here is separated here. And then we could bring this thing down. And yeah, that works. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to add, let's see, this here with the wires. Okay, um, actually, no, no, no. I wanna delete the wires because once our bots build everything and everything's hooked up, just trains might come and, and deliver deliver stuff a little bit prematurely. Uh, I don't need this radar. So I know for a fact that I got enough belts and I got enough rails. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that all the rails are built and then all the belts are built so that I don't have to worry about restocking those. And then I can make another, another trip and, um, make another trip and you know come back uh, also let me put my portable my two other portable fusion reactors to try and uh and save some some battery life and maybe not battery life that's not the right word is this wrong what's the what's the stack size of stone brick i have a feeling it's 100. I don't know why. Hmm. Oh, it's because this is this is gone. I was like, why why are we got why do we have negative negative four? I'm like what? But then I, I realized the depot's gone. Okay, so we have let's see what do we need. And we also should place down all the furnaces too. 
but we'll start off with just the belts and then we'll use um we'll use our deconstruction planner to figure out you know what else we need i'm not sure if i actually went through that using the deconstruction planner to, to figure out you know what's a ghost or not so i'll do that so if you have a deconstruction planner in your hot bar um, if you don't know how to get it in your hot bar all you got to do is take a click this deconstruction planner here drag it into your inventory and then from your inventory drag it down here all right so what i'm going to do is actually uh delete oh crap i deleted the wrong one whatever uh, so what you want to do is right click on the deconstruction planner. You want to go to filters. You want to make sure that your whitelist whitelist means that you include it. Blacklist means that you exclude it. So you want to include go all the way to here to unsorted entity ghost. And then when you hover over it, you'll see anything selected as a ghost, right? So you see, it's a good way to figure out what you need. So in this little chunk here that we built, we still need 34 beacons and one rail, right? And that one rail is over here. So that's a good way of, of, you know, gauging how much material or how much you actually need. And you see here the number of number of smelters is eight. I'm pretty sure we need like 6.5, I want to say, because I think that a full belt of ore is, I think, 13 smelters. And so we need like 6.5 fully beacon smelters. Um, but I round up obviously to, to seven. But the thing with having seven is you might, you might in some cases have a gap on the wrong side, right? So that's why I like having an even number so that you input the, the right amount of product on both given sides, right? If since you're, since you're only inserting on on to one side so i round it up again to eight it's going to be overkill obviously it's in terms of like space and like actual materials that you're wasting by by adding an extra smelter it's what 16 smelters extra it's not a huge deal um and also like you can only consume and produce as a limit of your of your belts if that's kind of uh, that's one of the reasons why i like using belts is because you have that control and you have that manual cap of the belts throughput right so if you have a full belt of stone right coming in to get smelted you can have 30 50 smelters but you'll only ever consume you know 6.5 smelters worth or furnaces worth of um of stone right so that's that's where it gets to the cap of you can overproduce underproduce actually underproduce isn't good but like if you overproduce or if you have more than you need you don't actually overproduce right send a robot down right here and then in the meantime we'll go ahead and fix this stuff so this we can bring back down to the 500 whoops there we go we just keep that at 300. Let's bring this up to 500. This will need 190. Rails, let's go down to 500 as well. Uh, chests, let's go 300. Just because we'll probably need a lot. What else would we need? Oh, underground belts. Underground belts. Let's go with 800. Sure. And we'll see. We'll see how much that needs. Actually, no. Let's use our let's use our ghost thing that I tell you guys about. Let's go there. Use the map. So we need about 250 stack inserters, 200 underground, 150 of the beacons, 122 of the of the chests uh and we're uh, we're missing some beacons here so add a little bit more to that and 200 rails uh so yeah the those undergrounds like we really don't need 800 we could probably do probably do with let's go 400 400 is fine um that's good that's good stack inserters we actually don't need the 500 we can go with the three uh chests why isn't why don't we have more of that what's wrong with that What's 
what's wrong with the chest why is this capped so little why is this cat so little let's go 500 chests and then we got i mean we got some speed modules not much not much uh okay let's go ahead and head back and then i think in this episode two i don't know if i mentioned this i probably did uh in this episode i think we're going to be um building some of the mines just so that you guys can you know see how i like to do it and see my thought process between expanding the mines and then you're also going to have a first-hand account of um how we actually incorporate the mines into the neural network because i'm not sure we did that i'm not sure that we did that oh also something that changed from the last episode is we got rid of this iron mine as well as copper mine down here took it took some waiting it took some it took some afk but we were able to uh we were able to get it done all right so we're almost back and i might also like start up these mines so that it's at least like something yeah i might i might do that i might you know start tapping this section here and you could see how how we do that all right almost there back up to full charge which is good Perfect. That's good. Let's go over here. This is a fuel. So where's our depots? Let's go to demand fuel. Boom. And now our fuel train is going to be coming in and delivering all that. There goes our beacons. And then obviously the modules going in, but the modules don't really matter. So now at this point, and also with big builds like this, you can use this ghost blueprint or this ghost deconstruction guy to also double check if you missed building anything, right? So we don't have anything here don't have anything here but we obviously have missed some stuff right here so we'll just keep on going north hit the spots that we missed Ooh, lots of inserters nice 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 and then the inserters here as well as the undergrounds Now you might ask why I like doing the unload at the, you know, on the, on the back. And it's because of the buffer system, right? So if it, if we use stack inserters to unload from both sides, the train gets a lot emptier, a lot faster than it, um, than it goes to the belt, right? That way it's empty and it can leave. And that gives time for another train to come in before, um, before the chests have been emptied. So that's, you know, the quicker offload than it takes to, to load the belts. That's that difference gives you time for another train to come in. Okay, so this is asking for why 20? That doesn't make any sense. What's the stack size for stone? It's 50, right? So we got um, a 48 stack chest times a stack size of 50 times um six uh 12 chests uh that's like per wagon and then times eight wagons and that's 230 400 and that 230 400 is the max right yes okay minus the stone equals the stone that we need and that goes then the stone that we need divided by 16 train size is how many trains that we need okay perfect oh it's 14 uh it's 28 in total that's why that is why okay um are these connected they are not that's a good thing we don't want to connect everything up just yet we want to wait till everything's actually built just want to double check stuff that's good that's good that's good we got 
fuel that's going to be coming in supply demand stone awesome now let's go to our stone let's make sure yeah okay so depot or stone let's turn this to manual circuit conditions you got to have you got eagle three right and i'm pretty sure the stone is working oh and we're actually we are actually doing this wrong. We're having stone being subtracted when ore should be subtracted. So we actually got to go switch that. So before I do anything, we're we're good here to um we're good here to connect everything up to the neural network. Where's my wires? There it is. So we got our demand in red. And then we got our supply in green. There we go, that's hooked up. We got 28 stone ore in demand. Awesome. We don't have any in supply yet. So we actually need to, to get some, some supply stations in there. Oh, let's add our trains. Add our trains. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go ahead, copy this. Oh crap, I did that wrong. Gotta go down and then shift copy and then add the trains, boom. There we go. Now we added those trains. I don't like this blue thing, it bugs me. Okay, now this is not copper. This needs to be stone brick. Where is it, where is it, where is it? Come on. Oh, it's here, there we go. Stone brick, let's copy that down. Good to go, and let's make sure that it's subtracting stone brick here. It is, awesome. And actually, these trains are good to just stay inactive for a bit. And this station, what's going on with this station? Okay, we already got, we already got a train coming in. Good. Everything good? Oh, we already got, we already have stone coming in. <laughs> That's funny. Um, let's go ahead and actually remove all this stuff because it's not actually even. That's not even at all. All right, there's more fuel. Let's go down to our resource train depot because we're actually doing something wrong. You see right here, this is the the condition that subtracts um, that subtracts back into the neural network. So if we have like two trains out um, fulfilling a supply and demand order, it will subtract two in that case from supply supply and demand from both uh, for that resource. Um, but in this case, it's actually subtracting stone instead of the coal. So we need to go ahead and change that. And then we will add our stone mine. So we have a stone patch here. We got a big stone patch here. We got stone here, stone here. This is this is a nice, cool little, little spots here. So I might, I might add a little mine here as well i feel like that'd be fun um actually let's go here let's get rid of both of these add our legs and add our personal laser defense there we go and then this needs to change the coal perfect it's probably why we we're having a little bit of a rough time uh in terms of bugs there okay so this is good this is good this is ready to demand coal or not coal, to demand stone. Let's go ahead and give it some. Um, where do I want it to go? I mean, I got a stone patch here that I need to get rid of. Well, first and foremost, we're gonna need to go back to the base. We're gonna need to go back to the base to 500, there we go. This can go down or up to 300. Let's do the underground belts to 500. 
let's add 200 these guys let's add a thousand rails and then a bunch of miners let's go 500 miners and then this can go down to back to 150. nice oh didn't get rid of the beacons we don't need the beacons we don't need this little stone either is that all we need oh uh the trains as well i only need one train and then i don't need any wagons please and thank you Perfect. So let's go. Let's go down here. Why not? Let's go down here, make a make a coal and stone mine combo. I feel like that'd be cool to see. We could also probably add a little combo mine here as well. Don't know exactly how we do that, but we can figure it out. I feel like we're, we're, we're smart. We're smart people. So we'll go down. We'll probably add a stacker coming in through here. And then some branches off for each mine. I like that idea. So let's make our stacker like this. Uh, we want it to face the other direction. So let's use, yes, this one. This one right here. Uh, let's turn off our bots and get out. I want the incoming rail here to do something like this into the stacker. So then we'll go to our blueprint, pick the stacker that we wanted, do like this, and then let's control X to cut this and then place it and kind of hug it as close as we can to this mine. Yeah, that'll work right there. And then we can place some ghosts. Whoops. There we go. All right, let's let our bots loose. Um, let's do trees and rocks for this. Get rid of those. And then add, add our signals. Perfect. In this case, we need a regular signal there and a regular signal there. Uh, and also, let's actually put our, our two power guys there. We'll go into our Spidertron so that we can actually walk decently quick. Come on, let's go. And then we'll, I think what we'll do is we'll split off, kind of go down this way, I'm guessing. We'll have one branch going this way, one branch going up, and then one branch kind of coming here. And then two exits. I like that. First and foremost though, let's go ahead and add our mine. I don't know if I have that in the blueprint library. I don't. Let's go to one of our established mines. Start here with the light and then end again with the light. Right there. We'll have this mine go something like that. go and then let's actually go ahead and add just a, a smaller chunk right here okay now this side is only going to go on one side so let's go ahead and even that out like that there we 
go. Let's also copy the balancer, this thing. Oh, and honestly, that's, that's the balancer that we need for that side too. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lanes. So that's just the right amount for, I mean, it's one less than the right amount for a, uh, for a train. How do we want this to go? I can probably go something like this way. There we go. Whoops. Something like that. And then something like that. And then we can add our eight by eight blue balancer here like that and then go ahead and let's do a copy let's do eight belts of spacing and then see where we can put this thing okay move out of the way so i can do a little bit of a blueprint here it's five six I don't know why I said six, it's not six. And I could just, you know, take the blueprint, but I wanna see, I want you guys to see like how I like to do this. All right, so we can actually cut and come down and hug. Perfect. So that's the spacing that we're gonna need. Let's go ahead, delete this part, leave the rails here. Copy this down, bring this up. And then it's gonna be a 90 degree turn. Uh, it's gonna be turning right. Let's see if we have a right turn anywhere. That's a turn left. That's a turn left. This is a turn right. So let's go ahead and copy this. Ah, crap, I did that wrong. There we go. Okay, there we go. And now all we gotta do is line up a train. So we'll take a train stop. We'll see kind of where the, the tail goes. Let's go ahead and bring this all the way back to. And see where it lines up in the middle. Okay, let's, let's get our Spidertron going. All right, train stop, what do we got? Uh, so we got from back to front, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the wagons. Let's line that up to like the, the mine. That looks good. Yeah, that looks good. And then we can take, this is gonna be a supply, yeah green there we go add that right there boom but this is not going to be supply or iron this is going to be supply or uh stone this is going to be our first one and then this is going to read the stone coming in divide by 16k because that's the train size and then output uh how many trains fit Ooh, and we are out of belts okay that's something that i, I did not anticipate uh belts let's go back and get some yes yeah, so we're gonna need about 300 more oh let's go to 900 let's do 
200 on these. Whoops. Let's do 200 on these as well. Nice. How are we on the poles? The poles, I probably don't need 200. I probably can do it with 100. Yeah, that works. Did I put the miners on yet? I did. Okay. I just didn't have that many. Um, let's go ahead and add another row here. We can delete these guys in the back, trim the fat a bit. Okay, we're good to go. Let's go back. And you'll be able to see exactly, you know, how how these little mining outputs go. And especially when they're clustered together like that, like how you can how you can have one stacker and then just split off into branches for each uh, for each like quote unquote loading dock for for each of the mines. And we are going to need some radars coming in soon. But I like I like this little stone smelting spot. It's kind of cute. Um, so we're going to do this mine. Then I say, why not? Why not do this mine? And then we'll finish out here. And I think that'll be a decent sized episode. I don't even know how long we're going, to be honest. Perfect. That works. Didn't mean to change that direction. Perfect. All right, that works. Now we need a radar here. Here seems like a good spot. And then we need to bring in our neural network because that's how everything's gonna get communicated. Um, we're gonna want to bring it in for all three of these mines. Uh, so what's closer? Let's actually, actually no, let's let's bring in the neural network on this side for this mine, and then we can bring it in on the other side for the other one. That's perfect. And then here I can add some power. There we go. And then here, all we gotta do is add, you know, this little one here with some wires. And then a demand, or yeah, no, supply wire going right here. There we go. And then that's gonna be one one uh, stone mine, mind. did I say mind? Jeez, stone mine. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this branch off. And then how do I want this one to work here? Let's delete this. And then I'm going to have something like something like that. There we go. And let's create these mines first before creating the path. And then we can create the path afterwards. Uh, so let's actually go ahead and go back here. Actually, let's go to a bigger mine where I can get a, a longer, a longer reach. There we go. Nice. It's gonna go from the middle. Boom. There we go. Awesome. Then we can go ahead and trim the fat from the back. There we go. And that's creating a mine is as easy as that. And how many lanes do we have too? 
on. Where's my, there we go. One lane, two lanes, three, four, five, six, seven. Another seven one. Perfect. Awesome. I feel like that might be the easiest going. Why don't we come down? When we come down, go this way and up. And this one can go like this. Yeah, I like that. Why not? Why? Why not? Por que no? Um, let's go with our balancers. Have this one hug here. Hug here. And we're only going to need seven, so I'll skip the last one. Oh, I did that perfectly. <laughs> I love that. Awesome. So that's eight lines there. Uh, it's going to be loading in from the left side. So a good way to almost cheat this is find a left loader like here. Use the rails. And then oh, we're going to need a little bit more. We're going to need this part as well. Yeah, so this is a left loader, so it's going to be very similar. Uh, all we need is eight belts of space. So what we need to do is just that seven, add an eighth, and then use this as a guide and see how closely we can, we can fit this. So there we go. Oh, actually, no, no, no. Eh, whatever. No, it'll work. All we need to do is turn this into a full turn like this view this as this there we go so that's a full turn and then we can just keep on going here into the into the other mine And I want to see if this is a full train length. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is not. So a train can will not have the space to wait here. So this needs to be a chain signal. All right. So this belt down here is going to come right here. Go. Whoops, no. It's going to come right here. There we go. That's going to go out. That's going to go out. Boom. Honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, I could probably have brought the belts from the like copied the belts as well from the left from the left loader. Um, but I didn't think about it because I'm not that smart. Uh, this is going to be coal. So whoops. There we go. That's coal. This is going to be supply or coal right here. And that's going to turn up that way. And then let's get back into our Spidertron. And then try this little, this little mine. That's one line, that's two lines, three, four, Five. Whoops. No. Nope. Six. There we go. Trim the fat from the back.
There we go. All right. So that's going to be another stone mine. Ooh, this one might be a little tough. Um, ha. Huh. Since everything's so close. Here, let's do something, something a little sneaky. A little sneaky. This is going to be a left loader as well. Oh, okay. Come on, bots. Come on, bots. You're struggling hard right now. Let's go. Man, I want a rocket so I can just do good science. Um, I might want these guys to go down this way. Yeah, I might want. Eh, I'm fucked. I already, I already built it. I already built it. Screw it. I'll have enough room. I'll, I'll make, I'll make room. Oh, it's going this way. Crap. <laughs> All right, I got to delete it anyways. Uh, it was going the wrong way anyways. Uh, but now let's make this go down. Uh, let's get rid of the trees as well as the belts. There we go. Trim the fat there, trim the fat there, and trim the fat there. And up front as well. Okay. So, all this stuff is gonna go into a balancer that's gonna be facing east right here. Um, but first, actually we need, where is it? This thing. Whoops. Dang it, I lost it. Uh, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Dang, we're already out of belts. Okay, um, let's have this one turn. That one turn. Uh, actually, while I'm doing this, you, my friend, uh, how, what do I have? I still got a bunch of undergrounds. You go get 2K of these belts. Get 2,000, please, while I place all the ghosts down. Boom, go. Onward. Um, okay. Let's go here, place that goes down, and that's six. And then we can grab a eight by eight balancer, go in the middle, and then let's use our left turn. Do I have a left turn in here? Oh, I got a right turn. Uh, let's use a left turn, left turn, left turn, right here. There we go. Left turn, boom. And then this is also gonna be a left loader. So let's go ahead and include, let's go this way, there we go. Hmm. Actually, let's bring it, let's bring it back. I feel like that'd be cool. We bring it backwards. Yeah, why not? Yeah, okay, let's do that. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna have something, yeah, like this go down. There we go. and then add something like this down there and delete this curve. Boom. Like that. 
delete this curve and have this one go down that way. This is going to be stone. And actually, this is going to need to turn right now. So this, sure. No, that's a left turn. Where's my right turn? My right turn is this one. Let's use this one. There we go. Boom. Uh, also, Spidertron, come here, please. Come hither. Perfect. I like I like working backwards for some reason. I feel like it's it's cleaner. There we go. Whoops. Nope. Continue on straight. And there we go. All right. So that's good. That's good. Let's go ahead and oh no, our Spidertrons are here. That's good. That's good. That's good. Take everything from here. Delete that logistics request because we don't need that anymore. And just watch the satisfaction. And this is a cool, this is a cool little design. I like this also get rid of the trees that are in the way come on robots man we need we need that that faster robot speed like asap we need that yesterday we need a rocket <laughs> okay now this i need to move and bring here and then bring this here and now this might actually fill fit a full train now so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine oh not the ten yet not the ten yet okay so now we got this output that we need to deal with let's get rid of these trees And then this output is going to go down this way. Um, obviously, I don't like having it turn left is not necessary. But in the off chance that we have something going on here, uh, might as well keep it. And just, you know, getting the good practice of just having um, of just having signals go both ways. And then here is not a full train length. So let's just do that. Awesome. And then we're going to be bringing in our neural network. Let's bring that in like here. And then have that turn and then down. Perfect. So then this is going to need the green wire. And then this here is going to need the green wire as well. There we go. And then let's add one power pole here to connect. There we go. Okay, so we got our... We got our coal mine, we got our stone mine, and then we got another stone mine here. Uh, do we need radars? We do. Let's go ahead and add one right in the middle here. And let's go to our map, and yeah. Oh, real quick. Uh-oh. We need this thing to go somewhere. Uh, I might actually just have that, have that loop back here. Uh, this... Let's have this be a regular one. There we 
go. This is gonna be a regular train signal here. Oops, I did that wrong. One more. There we go. Then let's add a regular train signal here just to have trains kind of speed up. It's fine. All right. So this is this is what we do for a nice little um, like local mining cluster. We got one stacker with three mines, each kind of weaving and dodging and, and they're all going out this way. Um, that did take a little longer than I expected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip ahead. Uh, I'm going to check out these mines. I'm going to add an, an oil mine and catch you after I'm done. And then we'll kind of go over the plans for the next video. I'm going to add one here as well. I already got the blueprint for it. So I'll, I'll see you in a bit. All right, so we are back. Uh, if we look, take a look at our map, we went ahead and added our mines. I'm pretty sure I did this on the camera. Yeah, it's sorry, it was a, it was a little bit of time. Uh, we added this oil, this oil field, uh, heavily moduled. Uh, we're still missing some some speed modules on it, as well as some power that I missed. Oh, also going back here. I know you guys are probably gonna yell at me in the comments. Uh, these were labeled demand so i went ahead and labeled supply uh supply or stone with the conditions uh with the correct conditions for or uh supply or coal yeah that's good supply or stone that's good um and then i went ahead and added a, a mining station here um there was no room for a stacker so i just used this long you know end here as the stacker you know added some added some uh rail signals and the trains will get loaded fast enough to where like it, i don't think it'll get overloaded um and we got you know our our iron mine and then we got our um uh, our stone mine and i did a little bit of a sneaky thing is i had the slip through go to the right side and then had uh the underground belts go past it because if say we wanted uh here's our here's our copper mine if say we wanted to bring like a third train up here for our copper mine in order to exit this guy would have had to cross that so i did something a little sneaky to where i brought it to the outside but just had the belts uh cross underneath it and then that way it goes to the outside and then they all remerge and then and then exit out here on the on the right lane here so our the last step to this episode uh, i know we added a bunch of mines and stuff but the actual um goal of it however was to get this stone brick set up for when we eventually start our gray science and for that we need to set up our train so right here we got our stone trains so they're gonna go to depot or stone until the the three green checks are made that is this is this is checking supply this is checking demand as you see the red is highlighted the red wire is highlighted here the green wire is highlighted here kind of switches off and then we have the final check here the the third check is if the lane ahead of it is, has already left However, since there's only one lane of stone or trains, meaning that there's three of them, uh, it doesn't have to check for a lane ahead. So the first one in the chain is always, uh, always has a constant, right? So it's gonna start from the depot, go to supply or stone until it is full. And then it's gonna go to demand or stone. Where is it? Demand or, do we not have demand or stone right now? Oh, that's why. I want this to be demand or and then stone. That way it's nice and uniform. Demand or stone. There we go. Then this is going to go to demand or stone. And then this is going to be until it's empty cargo. And then before I start anything, I'm going to shift right click to copy. Um, actually, Spidertron. Come, come join me, please. And then I'm going to follow this line. I'm going to paste it. Yep, that worked. 
and then paste it again here. Now these are on automatic. These are ready to go. This one's on automatic, ready to go. And then finally, it's time to put this one on automatic. And since the checks are already done, it'll go to the supply or stone. Now let's follow this train. This train's gonna go, oh, it's gonna go up north actually, which is not bad. It's probably a good spot to, it's gonna go to the closest one. Um, and these down here aren't that close, but I like the fact that it's gonna prioritize this one because, you know, it's the closest one to it because then it just goes here and then around here. So now these three trains are all the stone trains. Yeah. So now they're all going to get loaded. Um, they're all going to wait in that stacker. They're going to wait their turn. Perfect. So this one's gone. Boom. And then this one's going to go up north here. And it causes a little bit of a delay if, say, we got a stone train here waiting. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not going to be a huge deal. So it's fine. There's a bunch of stations. That's why we have multiple. And then this is unloading. It's unloading super quick. Awesome. And the reason why it unloads super quick is to have time for the next train to come and unload at that same station. You see here we got you know, eight full blue belts being provided here. Oh, actually it skipped. Well, that's fine. doesn't matter if it does or not. Um, they're both going to fill up anyways. Nice. But even then, like we still have full blue belts, uh, but we don't have full blue belts consuming because we don't have all the modules in right now. So it's, these aren't going to be like full eight belts yet, but it's exciting. It's definitely exciting. And there we go. See, we already got, we already got trains going. Nice. Look at all that stone brick. Perfect. Perfect. And then the final step in this entire thing is going to be to, um, to get this stone brick, um, thing going. Oh, also, 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 also one of the things that I did was since since the ratio is two to one, right? So you need two full blue belts of stone ore to make one full blue belt of stone brick. So we got like the two belts coming in here as inputs and then I balance it out and then merge the two. For every two I merge, that that's, that's why we see eight input belts here and then four output belts on this side. And then it just at, does the same here on this side. And you see here that we got some full belts going because of all the modules. And it, there's a little bit of an overproduction and that's obviously because of the, um, of the extra smelter, like extra, I think one and a half smelters. Um, but we just, we just care about the output and having the full, full belts on the output. So yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. I really, really, really appreciate you guys stopping by, clicking on that thumbnail, and enjoying Factorio with me. It really does mean a lot to me. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to smash that like button, click the subscribe button as well if you haven't already, and that little notification bell down there at the bottom keeps you up to date with all new content that's coming to the channel. If you wanna know how these builds work, or you have questions about my build style, or you just wanna comment on your own build style and think that I'm doing it completely wrong, all comments are welcome. All positive, negative, critical, any type of feedback is very welcome down in the comments down below. If you want a little bit more one-on-one -on -one conversation or you have a question that can't really be um, answered in the comments, be sure to hop into my Twitch chat. I stream every Thursday and Sunday afternoon at twitch.tv slash All the links to all my socials, including Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram are found in the description down below. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you so much again for joining me and I'll see you next time. Peace. Oh,